you have been aligning yourself with the Lakers for a while now, really believing in them, but you have had some doubts. So what do you think at this point? Are we staying on? Or are we hopping off the bandwagon? Hey, what's up, Max? How you doing, man? How you doing, Max? I, I mean, nah. is, is, is nah. that got right, Max? <laughs> <laughs> nah. Right? I mean, I, I just want to say uh, before I start, I want to say before I start, hey, Max, that's a really nice haircut you got there, brother. I mean, it's a really nice haircut, nice suit and everything. I hope you had a wonderful weekend, Max. I, I, I really, really did. Vince, uh, you too, Vince. Uh, oh, yes, sir. Oh, uh, what you got? Uh, <laughs> what you got? And, 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 I'm, I refuse to answer that question. I refuse <laughs> to answer that question. Look, man, look, here's the deal. I on first take. I ain't going to completely jump off the bandwagon. I will confess to you that I'm incredibly nervous in the level of faith that I had in the Los Angeles Lakers prior to the pandemic, okay, doesn't necessarily exist based on what I have seen in the bubble. And not only that, not only am I not going to give a definitive answer, all right, I have a right to do so. Guess why? The Lakers have given me a right to do it. You know how they've given me a right to do it, fellas? Did you hear the news about how they're going to have, they're going to honor Kobe with, like, the Black Mamba stuff on their jersey? Did you notice with the print? I mean, read the article. You know what they said? After the first round. So, in other words, they ain't even sure about what they're going to do in the first round. And that's why they don't want, that's why they have the uniforms ready right now. They're not even ready to definitively take a position about what they're going to wear, okay? Come, you know, come first round. That's why they said we're going to do it in the second round because they got to wait to see what the hell we're going to witness because we don't know. Avery Bradley's not there. Rondo's been cleared with the quarantine thing. We don't know what his eligibility is, but we anticipate that in all likelihood he'll play probably game one tomorrow, but definitely by game two. The reality is the Los Angeles Lakers can't make shots. They don't seem to be on the same page. We understand the level of detail, the elevation of detail tail kicks in come postseason time and what have you, but they got to go up against Dame Dollar CJ and an offense that is lethal, although they've got a defense that's offensive because they're so porous. But in the end, what it comes down to is that the Los Angeles Lakers at this particular moment in time, I have not seen them play. I have not seen them show up in this bubble. Can 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 I watch a couple of games first before I can see? Cause the, no. I've been looking for the Lakers. No. I've been looking for the Lakers. Lakers all season long. I mean, the, the, I, I, the Lakers that I picked from October to March, no doubt. That, that's the team that I picked to win the chip. I don't know who the hell these guys are that showed up in the bubble. I just don't know. I always thought that the Clippers are going to win the whole thing, but I always thought it was going to be very tough against the Lakers. And I'm a Lakers fan. And the Lakers were firing on all cylinders before the, before the shutdown of the season. They had just beaten the Bucks and the Clips in back-to-back -back games. And LeBron had really led that group and had them seeming to just about starting to peak right at the right time. That's all over now. And they had to reset. And they have not looked reset. But don't jump off the bandwagon. You're going to jump off the bandwagon now, Stephen A.? Now? Why? Because they haven't looked perfect since the bubble restart because they're not hitting shots. You can't point to Avery Bradley and Rondo. Those are not, not, not two of the top five players on the team. Every team has injuries, especially in the middle of a pandemic. You don't know who people are going to be missing. This is not like the Rockets without Westbrook or something like that. Look, the Lakers still have plenty. LeBron James is still among the best players in the game. I thought that the entire season. So is AD. When you have two top five, six players on the same team throughout NBA history, that is a problem for everyone else, whether or not they win the whole thing. Portland does not. Portland was lucky to be a next a next team that had nothing to play for. They were lucky. And when I say lucky, I mean Levert had to miss the last shot. He had a look and he just missed it. If he doesn't miss it, they lose. And they had everything to play for. They don't, do not play enough defense to beat the Lakers. So I already mentioned LeBron and AD. Everyone knows, and LeBron's even said, Kuzma's got to be their third best player if they want to win. They've had great play from their bigs all year, way more than you could have anticipated reasonably. The bigs have outplayed. But I'm even looking at Danny Green right now. Danny Green has struggled hitting shots in the bubble. 
But guys, this dude has been a, a, a kind of championship DNA style player. Like teams with Danny Green tend to, I don't know, contend for titles all the time. He's, he's been 20% of championship starting fives basically his whole career because he's a big guard who can really 3 and D. Even with his problems hitting shots in the bubble on the season, he's taking about five threes a game and hitting about 37% of them. That's a good three-point shooter. Now, for his career, he takes like five threes a game and hits 40% of them. That's an excellent three-point shooter. But even a good version and not an excellent version of Danny Green might be enough for the Lakers to challenge the Clippers in the Western Conference Finals. Surely it would be enough to get past Portland. But main thing is, Stephen A., you cannot, you of all people, Best not be jumping off the bandwagon now. You've been <laughs> pulling the bandwagon since the preseason, since the AD trade. Oh, where to start? Uh, I, I, I say, <laughs> go ahead. No, Vince, go ahead. I, 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 I'm going to say this. Uh, I, I'm, I'm going to say it's not time to jump off the bandwagon yet, but the door is open. And, and Max, I, I, I kind of agree with you both, I'm in, but I'm in the middle. Uh, I think the Clippers now are healthy, and they see that the door is open, and they're going to take advantage of this opportunity. Uh, a lot of the things that you said, Max, as far as they need AD to play, lights out. But they're shooting. Lakers shooting right now is, is, is of concern. They're going to need to hit shots because you're going to think, Portland and every other team the Lakers are going to see, they're going to, they're, the attention is going to be on LeBron and AD. They're going to make these other guys have to hit shots. Kuzma is going to have to play lights out and be that third guy like LeBron said they need to do. Uh, I, I think my Tar Heel, Danny Green, who is proven in the playoffs, is going to have to be the Danny Green. No. So uh, right now, the door is open. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.